The 2022 NFL Draft is behind us, and I loved spending it with every single one of you that clicked on all 11 of our videos that we pumped out from Thursday to the end of round seven on Saturday. And I'm wondering, did you enjoy our draft coverage? Nobody did more draft coverage on the Giants than us. If you enjoyed it, go down and show some love and type me in the comment section. Everybody that types me, I'll give you a shout out on a future New York Giants now. What's going on, Giants fans? Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. I had a great time talking NFL Draft with you, and we're not done yet. In today's show, we're going to go over all 13 undrafted free agents that the Giants signed. We'll go through them quickly, and then later on in the video, we'll break them down one by one. I'll give you some analysis, and one guy I think has a fast track to get on the 53-man roster for the Giants by week one. But the undrafted free agents, the first one was Austin Allen, the tight end out of Nebraska, then Darren Evans, the cornerback out of LSU, Jermaine Hall, tight end out of OU. He's more of like an H-back, fullback type of role. And then Tyrone Truesdale, the interior defense alignment out of Florida. And then it keeps rolling on. Christopher Hinton, the D lineman out of Michigan. He's also an interior defense lineman. Then Jabari Ellis, the D tackle out of uh, South Carolina. And then Tom and Fox, one of my favorite guys the Giants signed, the edge rusher out of UNC. And then Yusuf Corker, what a name, Corker, the safety out of Kentucky. And then Joshua uh, yeah, Josh Juan, jo Josh Juan Corbin, uh, uh, the running back out of Florida State. He's got a good little quick twitch to him, can provide a little bit of pass catching out of the backfield. Then Joshua Rivas, the offensive guard out of Kansas State. Trenton Thompson, the safety out of San Diego State. And Zion Gilbert, a cornerback out of Florida. And then Antonio Valentino, the interior defensive lineman out of Florida. So 13 guys, we just showed you all of them. I think Corker has the fast track and Tom to get onto this roster. If two of them make it, that would be my predictions. But I want you to go down in the comment section and predict it right now. What UDFA do you think will make the Giants 53-man roster? It's going to be tough. The Giants, while they don't have a lot of talent, they really don't have much room to add other players. But I want to hear from you. What UDFA do you think the Giants will make? What, what UDFA will make the Giants roster? The first guy we're going to break down is Austin Allen, the tight end out of Nebraska. The first thing, he's six foot eight, 253 pounds. He was second team all Big Ten. He was Big Ten tight end of the year, a team captain, and he set the single season school receiving record by a tight end. 38 receptions, 602 yards, two touchdowns. Allen, he doesn't have dynamic route skills, but he is a consistent contested catch monster with the traits that suggest there's potential there. He also has an intriguing development potential as a blocking and receiving tight end. It's going to be a tight end room that's going to have a lot of competition, and maybe he could find a way to make this roster. Then Darren Evans, the cornerback at LSU. The thing I like about him the most is how big he is. Six foot, that sounded really weird. Six foot, two and a quarter inch, 179 pounds. He had 27 tackles, four pass breakups, ran a 4 5 3 40, appeared in 13 games with five starts, recorded 27 tackles, four bre pass breakups, while also having three quarterback hurries. So he can come from the slot position, provide a little bit of pass rush on some corner blitzes. And he started the final five games of the season at cornerback, so he has some reps at that spot. Then Jermaine Hall, the H back out of OU, 6'1", 236 one and a half, 239 pounds, had 32 receptions, 334 yards, four touchdowns. He also had six carries for 25 yards and one touchdown. Overall, he's not really a dynamic athlete, only ran a 49640, but he's a good sturdy blockable blocker and a dependable pass catcher out of the backfield he may be trying to compete and find a way to get on special teams or be like a red zone fullback h-back type of player in the brian dable offense while well, those guys they're going to be competing to find a roster spot and if they make it we'll be breaking it down on this channel we don't just pop up us giants now by chat sports for the nfl draft we do free Daily videos around the latest Giants news and rumors. Every single day in the dog days of June and July, we're pumping out content for you Giants fans. So help us get to 8,000 subscribers. We're 114 away. We can get there on today's video. I believe in you. If you love the Giants and you love Giants content, we're the best place to get it. So join us. Lock us in. Hit that big red button. 
The next player that the Giants signed, which was an undrafted free agent, was Tyrone Truesdale, the interior defense alignment from Florida. Six foot, one and seven eighths inch, uh, 347 pounds. This is someone that was at Ar Auburn the prior four years, finished his career at Florida. His career stats, he played a lot of games. 79 tackles, nine tackles for loss, and three sacks. The Giants, they added some interior defense alignment in the draft, so it's gonna be tough for Truesdale to make a roster, but he's definitely going to have an opportunity to compete in training camp and in the preseason. Then Christopher Hinton, the defensive lineman out of Michigan, six foot three and five eighths inch, 305 pounds. Last year he had 32 tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, but he's got some good genes, and I'm not talking Levi's. His father was a seven time Pro Bowl offensive lineman with the Colts, Falcons, and the Vikings. So he knows what it takes to make it in the NFL. He's just going to have to show it on the field if he wants to make it in the NFL. He was a big-time recruit coming out of high school as well, obviously with his dad being a seven-time pro bowler in the, in the NFL. Jabari Ellis, the next guy we're breaking down, the, uh, one of the Giants' undrafted free agents, 6'1 and 7'8", 278 pounds, 41 tackles, one and a half sacks, and zero force fumbles. This is someone that's going to have to come in and compete. I don't think I think it's a long shot for him to make this roster. He has some good ability to get off blocks and make plays at the line of scrimmage and be a good run stopper, but the Giants they already have a couple of those guys, but he if he does perform well, he could make this roster. Probably my second favorite undrafted free agent the Giants signed was Tom and Fox, the edge rusher out of North Carolina. The thing is, he graduated high school in 2015, so he's got some seasoned veteran in him. He spent six years at North Carolina, shout out COVID, six foot two and three quarters, eight inch, and 253 pounds. But the last three seasons, he had serious production. 31 tackles for loss, 125 tackles, 23 sacks, and three forced fumbles. He was a draftable player on my board, and for the Giants to get him out of UDFA, at a spot at pass rusher that Wink Martindale really prefers, he's going to have a shot to make this roster. But what about this? Do you trust Joe Shane? Is he going to make the Giants great again? Is he going to put the fifth Lombardi trophy in the case in East Rutherford? Let me know. If you do, if you trust Joe Shane like I do, because I love him and he did great in the draft, go down right now and like this video. The next player and the number one player I think is going to make this roster, I'm not going to guarantee it, but if someone does, I think it's going to be Yusuf Corker, the safety out of Kentucky last year, 82 tackles, eight pass breakups. He was a two-time two team captain. He ran a 4-5-3-40. He had three and a half tackles for loss, one sack. He's a versatile, strong safety that can really do it all. He's someone that can line up as a free safety a little bit, can be that strong safety, can come down in the box and be that big nickel and provide run support. Not the best coverage guy, but someone at a position of need for the Giants that I think has a fast track to make this roster if he comes out and shows that he can play football. Joshua Corbin, the running back out of Florida State, 5'11", 202 pounds, ran a 4'5", 8'40", at his pro day. He was an SEC All-Freshman, and this past year, he was third-team All-ACC. In this year, he had 143 carries, 887 yards, seven touchdowns, with also 25 grabs, 144 yards receiving, and one touchdown. He doesn't have ideal bursts, and that reflects in the 40-yard dash. And he doesn't really break many tackles. He can run through some ARP tackles, but he offers patience, vision, and pass-catching versatility. And anytime you're a versatile player, your chances to make it in the NFL are a lot higher. Then the guard, the offensive guard, Josh Revis out of Kansas State. This guy is built like a brick shit house. Six foot five, 330 pounds. He's a solid run blocker. Lacks a little bit of foot speed and athleticism. Not really a pulling guard, but he has a lot of starts under his belt. 23 starts at Kansas State. And in 2021, he didn't allow a single sack in 362 pass blocking reps. The Giants, they beefed up the offensive line in this draft. Competition's going to be big in camp, so maybe he can make this roster. Someone that's guaranteed to make this roster is King K. I'm starting the trend. King K, K-A-Y-K, like Kayvon Thibodeau. His jersey is now on sale. Shout out to today's sponsor, Fanatics. He's not wearing number one, but once he gets his number, the jersey, if you order it today, will come with the number he chooses. He's trying to get number five from Graham Gano, and look, 
These jerseys, they're selling like crazy. Go get it right now. I'll put the link, chatsports.com slash Kayvon, in the comments and description of this video. Click on it and get yourself a New York Giants Kayvon Thibodeau jersey. The next player we're breaking down is Trenton Thompson, the safety out of San Diego State. Six foot one, 196 pounds. Had 43 tackles last year, three interceptions, and 13 pass breakups. I like that a lot. He has ball skills. He had one forced fumble last year, three and a half tackles for loss. Played six years at San Diego State. He ran a 4 5 8 40. The Giants, they're light on safeties. They're bringing a couple in that are undrafted free agents. He's going to compete to make this roster, but I think he has some special teams versatility, and that's going to help him out a lot. Another player I like that the Giants got not in uh, the free agency for undrafted players is Zion Gilbert, the cornerback out of FAU. Six foot, 193 pounds, ran a 4-4-40. He was an all-honorable uh, honorable mentioned all-conference USA players, and he led the team in pass breakups for three straight seasons. This past year, 51 tackles, two tackles for loss, one sack, 12 pass breakups, and two interception. Gilbert isn't a technically refined player, but he mirrors well from his pedal and has the vertical speed to compete for corner snaps on the perimeter. The Giants, they need corner help. And Gilbert, he's going to have a chance to make this roster at that spot. Antonio Valentino, the last player on this video that we're going to break down. The Giants, as of now, have signed 13 undrafted free agents. They could add some more. But Antonio Valentino, just one year at Florida this past year, six foot three, 321 pounds, 23 tackles, three tackles for loss, and one sack. He's going to be able to provide a little bit more beef on that interior defensive line, but he's going to have to fight to make this roster. We just broke down all 13 guys the Giants signed, so grade the class for me. And if you type F, you're probably a fraud because, look, you can't give undrafted free agents an F. That's just weird, but grade the class for me, A, B, C, D, or F. I appreciate everybody that's made New York Giants now a part of their day today. Look, if you loved our draft coverage, once again, I'm asking you to type me in the comment section. Get that comment uh, section going a little bit. And I'll give you a shout-out on the next New York Giants now.